Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Unknown Dragon Twenty One here, and I'm back. Well, not necessarily back. I am here with a new series. As you can tell, this is Minecraft, but this is on the 360. So I was telling you all how I wanted to start uh, creating stuff because I didn't know where survival was gonna go. So I was like, oh, let me adjust my mic real quick. All right. I didn't know where I wanted survival to go, so I was like, hmm, I should try the other side of Minecraft, the creative side. So. Uh, in the 360 edition, by the way, this is before any of the other updates for like the ocelots and stuff came out, so you can see some very old looking things. Not really old, but you know, you're know, you not going to see anything that came with the any updates. I have yet to get Xbox Live. Anyway, going back to the main point. I've already created stuff, and I want to bring those to the PS3 edition, so I think I'm going to recreate those. So what I'm going to do at the start of each episode for this series... Uh, this being the inaugural episode or episode zero or whatever. This is just the tour of the world I've already built, which is very small. It's not going to be a long video uh, as compared to what I'm going to start doing, I guess, 20 to 30 minutes for each video for the series. Uh, I'm going to tour, just give a little mini tour of each thing I've already built, but when I start the actual series up, I'll give a bigger tour, more in depth, and, you know, more of, I guess, every little detail, I guess. So, anywho, let's get started. Pop straight down onto the very first thing I built when I got into the creative. Uh, the little HQ area, which I kind of went a little overboard with. I'm going to probably change this up a bit. Got a little iron, gold, diamond walkway with a little glowstone light up area. And what I like about this, it interchanges. So, you know, I, I got a little crazy with it. <clears throat> what can I say? So in here you have uh, a little fountain that goes to the top, I think. Um, there's a basement which I have yet to complete. A uh, couple bedroom areas, uh, kitchen like area with a bunch of furnaces. Upstairs area, there's a fountain right there that I was talking about. A uh, little potion making area, enchanting area with a library, mini library thing. Uh, jukebox area with the lounge. I put all the music discs in there and stuff like that. And uh, fountain back down. Okay, Ooh. all right. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Maybe lose my voice here. Alright, so, and I put fountains, like lava fountains and uh, water fountains around. And funny thing is, I just happened to, like, I dug down for some reason. I don't know why I wanted those things to glow and have light inside of them. And I found uh underground, like, ravine type thing, plus the mine shaft. None of which I've touched yet. You can see the iron and stuff is still there and all that. So, I didn't really see a need to... I need to mess with that stuff because I'm in creative. I'm just building stuff, so I'm not really testing out the world. So, as you can see from right here, I made a very disgusting-looking uh, freaking minecart-like highway thing, which I want to bring back but make it a little bit better. So this leads to a village, which I kind of upgrade—not upgraded, but I did a little improvements. There's more torches around than normal. Uh, some things that were like broken, like this was—I guess you can tell I didn't fix that, but. There's like a little hole right here, and the water was going out to the, you know, ocean and stuff like that. Uh, where's the other thing? Oh yeah, here. <clears throat> this uh, the door was just flying right here, so I decided just to connect these two houses, so there's a way to get in there with the. Uh, with, where's Earl and Carl? Well, I guess Carl's dead, so Earl. No, I'm just kidding. I actually I just made those names up just now. So let's head back. Here's the uh, nether portal like area. I don't know why I made four at a time. It seemed like that'd be a mess if four people go in at the same time. I don't know how that would work actually. Wait a second. Let me turn that down. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, so, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, so, the nether, I decided, uh, it was like, a, I guess, it wasn't that much you could really stand on here. So I was like, I just fortified, I made it pretty thick. But this was before I knew about the whole cobblestone stopping uh, the gas explosion stuff, so, yeah. So I made stairs and everything. I don't know why I even put that much effort into it, because uh, I looked around here. I didn't even find a freaking uh, nether fortress, so, yeah. But I decided I already built a bunch of stuff. I might as well you know, not give up on it now, so I just kept on building. Uh, so since I can fly. Alright. Next area that I'm going to cover is uh, following this very uh, 
the competitions area, which is very empty because I couldn't really think of anything except for like, you know, competing for archery, who's better, the better shot. Although I'm probably gonna move this target back because this, this seems like it'd be too easy. So I'm probably gonna move this back like quite a bunch when I recreate it. So I don't know how far I'm probably gonna get some some place testing going on, but and here's like a little like uh, gladiator event type thing. So as you can see, you see this little nasty looking, the sticky piston. So what I learned is you can actually put a fence, like put a sticky piston on a fence. And I try to put a block right here, like the Hunger Games, and try to like, like, like you see, like if anyone has seen the, like the Hunger Games for the PC, there's like a little thing that keeps you locked in, you can't get out. So I couldn't do that with one block, because people could easily jump over it. So what I did was, I put a little lever right here, whoever is like, I guess, overseer of the game or whatever can just sit in this chair that I yeah so uh, this chair that I made press the lever and the fences go down and the warriors are released so yeah the little gladiator pit I made if I make it like a hunger game if I make it like the hunger games for some reason I can't talk uh, I'll probably just uh, put some chests in the middle or something but I'll probably expand this out a little bit make it bigger I was trying to make the cell arena for like from Dragon Ball Z. Like at first I wanted to make the cell arena and I was like, eh, whatever. What's next? Mm, ah, so got a little pier over here, you can go fishing right here. Although with the snow and ice, you know, I wouldn't really do that. There's boats right here. If you head out this way. Oops. Um follow the pumpkins and the water trail. Then circle around this thing. Come to the other like little mini dock that I have I haven't completed yet, but I just made the outline for it. Follow the pumpkins to the little thing. I'm gonna build like a little ruin things. Like I'm gonna build ruins, like a, maybe a castle or something that's been destroyed or whatever, like a bunch of holes. And like I'm probably gonna build it and then like have some TNT on the side or something like that and blow it kinda blow it up a little bit, make it kinda ruin with mossy cobblestone and all that stuff. So yeah. There's that. But first, let's make an actual castle. And why am I bringing up an actual castle? Well, you may have spotted it a couple times, but I actually have started on making an uh, actual castle. And here it is. Castle Kingdom thing. I don't know if I'd call it a castle, but... So the story behind this thing was I always... I said, when I heard of Minecraft, I was like, hmm, what would happen if I build a castle on a hilltop? you know, stuff like that. I've always wanted to do that, like on top of a cliff and have lava pouring out the side or something like that. Didn't exactly happen. So, yeah. Um, Got a little like, light things that I kind of didn't get to, I didn't recreate very well in the city type thing, but yeah, this is probably going to get uh, expanded out quite a bit. Not too sure yet. Uh, There's this thing. I, w I wanted to, uh, do all of them like that because I, I think this is nice, like a little like lamp thing. So, uh, got stairs. I left this like this because I tried to figure out where the middle was. So, because I I needed help. Uh, what was that? <clears throat> Hearing noises outside. So I uh, left that door open. I just realized. So you got three main buildings so far. I'm probably gonna extend them out. Uh, you got like the little like I guess hotel type thing. You got the little lounge area and stuff like that. And you got like bedrooms and stuff. So don't know why I have eh, whatever like a little hotel type thing in the castle. And you come out here, over here. You got the little uh... okay. I can't get through the door. Huge like library thing. No, whatever library. So if you go up top, hopefully I can squeeze through here. I can. Uh, get this off my uh, screen. Let me just do this. All right. So here's like the top area. I was gonna build like a little like wall section this off and make like a little like a put like an enchanting and potion thing for like a wizard or warlock or whatever. Kind of props to Skyrim. So let's see. Let's go to the main building. Which is where the king slash queen slash both will be held. Or the duke, whatever you want to call him. 
so I was gonna build like a wall separating the chamber from everything else, and then I was gonna have like a little opening area. I guess I can have two iron golems like as guards or whatever. So that's the area where the king or queen or both will be sitting, you know, whatever, and the princes and stuff. So got the little pumpkins in the walls. I don't know why I used a bunch of pumpkins. I don't know why I didn't try to like just do glowstone. I even put some like as like floor lights. Yeah, I wasn't very creative back then. So uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, upstairs. So yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of upstairs stuff. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them. I just started making floors, but I have no idea what each floor is gonna hold. Oh yeah, a little lava like lava lamp thing. I got this idea from a YouTube video. It was like someone made like a bedroom and put like lava in the background. So yeah, I'm just uh. Been a while since I played on the Xbox. Uh, so but anyway, going back to that second floor really quick. Uh, there's like little like hallway things linking the buildings. So I tried to make that look nice, but I don't think it worked very well. I was thinking about putting them on the bottom, like put them on the like the floor, like the ground level. But I thought it restricted flow of traffic because uh. Back here, as soon as I can move. Back here, you have guard towers. Okay. So where the guards would sleep in the barracks and stuff like that. Have little chainmail armor and stone swords and uh, more armor for some reason. Oh, and the archers would just you know sit here like the guard, the guard towers. So there's four of them for each corner. So you know, yeah. So over here you got the little water thing. I did make the waterfall things like I wanted to on the side of the cliff going into water. It's just not exactly on the side of the cliff. And uh, another thing you may notice, uh, I was watching a, a thing called Minecraft Factions and people made these things called uh, TNT cannons. So I was like, hmm, what if I fortified my walls? Like, instead of like one... Uh, one block thick, like I made these, the front wall. Why not just make it three blocks thick? So I was like, yeah, you know, do that. I haven't finished it yet because it took it took a while just to do the first wall. So just imagine doing two more. So, but then I was like, huh. You know, you can still kind of blow up stone with uh, TNT. So uh, why not put something you can't blow up? Put obsidian in the middle. That is not the right thing. So, yeah, I did that. I didn't finish. I didn't even finish one wall yet because I kind of gave up on it. And then the PS3 edition came out, so I was like, I'll just recreate stuff like that. And I got YouTube material for it. So, yeah. What else? So I think that was about it. Uh, walls. Uh, a little water going outside. A little village that I tried to um, scale up, but apparently I ran out of villagers. So, this is going to be like the main village. Aside from that other one I showed off, because it was near the castle, and I was thinking about making it inside the castle walls. Like you know, I forgot what. I think I think white rooms like that. You had multiple walls, and the city was inside wall, like a like the walls and stuff like that. You know, Dragon's Reach was like the castle area type thing. Uh, oh, and I got a little lava. I wanted lava like flowing out of the back too. Got the little nether stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, that little lava like lava falls, and on the other side you got waterfalls leading to the water. So I think that's about it. Uh, mushroom flower. I was gonna make a mushroom kingdom, but it made a nice little like flower formation type thing when you look at it from the top. So I left it alone. But if you if you remember from my uh, Minecraft the survival thing, I was gonna make a freaking. A mushroom kingdom, there we go, I couldn't think of it. A mushroom kingdom? That was like a bunch of mushrooms like surrounding the area and they were all like linking or something like that. So similar to that castle except that of mushrooms and stuff like that, kind of like Mario or whatever. So yeah, that's about it, I think. But uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Don't think there's anything uh, else. Uh, you can tell I made this place well lit because I got tired of running back to the bed to sleep. So, 
And I don't think uh, the potion of night vision isn't, isn't even out on this. Like, I didn't even, uh, I don't have that update either, so, yeah. Oops. Yeah, so you don't have potion of night vision, so. <clears throat> so I didn't, got, didn't want to work during the night because it got pretty dark. So. But really, I think I, I think I look these things very well. It looks like a. I don't know, like New York or one of those uh, big major cities that look really pretty at uh, night. So yeah, I will let this up. So I'm gonna move that back. I'm probably gonna make that bigger. When I start building another uh, edition, I'm probably gonna get an estimate of how big these are so I can expand them. Well, first I'm probably gonna look at the world that I get and then like terraform it or whatever and stuff like that. So anyway, that was the world that I made on the Xbox 360 edition. And again, this is before. Okay, this is before I really had a lot of creativity, so it, it's not the best, obviously. But you know, and it's not going to be the best even after I recreate it. So, but if you guys have any ideas of what I could build in the future or whatever of this series, let me know. But as of right now, starting out, I'm going to build, recreate some of the stuff as best I can. That's probably going to be the last thing I start making because this that's going to take a long time. So. <clears throat> And this series is probably going to go up every Wednesday, excluding today's episode, because I, I meant to upload this last Wednesday, but I was gone on a trip and stuff like that. And uh, Oh yeah, today's Thursday, July 31st. This is the last day of July. So, yeah, this was supposed to go up like, like two Wednesdays ago, but I couldn't because I messed it up. And I, then I started getting ready for my trip, which was that week after, so I didn't really give myself enough time to make YouTube videos, so... I still have to work on the other series, so you guys will start seeing something by the end of this week. But uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Again, leave me any comments or stuff like that. Let me know what I could build. I am still working on the Twitter thing. I forgot about it for a while, but I think I'm going to go ahead when I get a chance to make it. And uh, blah, blah, blah. See you all later.